the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of our Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let's call to mind our shortcomings and failures. Ask God's pardon and forgiveness for the worthy celebration of this most holy Eucharist. We shall pray together, I confess, to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have really listened in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I pray to do. Through my Father, through my Father, through my most beautiful Father. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who through the grace of adoption chooses to be children of light, grant we pray that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who loves and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. God did not make death, nor does he rejoice in the destruction of the living. For he fashioned all things that they might have being, and the creatures of the world are wholesome. And there is not a destructive drug among them, nor any domain of the, un the netherworld on earth, for justice is undying. 
For God formed man to be imperishable. The image of his own nature, he made him. But by the envy of the devil, death entered the world. And they who belong to his company experience it. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, as you excel in every respect, in faith, discourse, knowledge, all earnestness, and in the love we have for you, may you excel in this gracious act also. For you know the gracious act of our Lord Jesus Christ. And though he was rich, for your sake he became poor so that by his poverty you might become rich. Not that others should have relief while you are burdened, but that as a matter of equality, your abundance at the present time should supply their needs, so that their abundance may also supply your needs, that there may be equality. As it is written, whoever had much did not have more, and whoever had little did not have less. The word of the Lord.
be with you our reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark when Jesus had crossed again in the boat to the other side a large crowd gathered around him and he stayed close to the sea one of the synagogue officials named Jairus came forward seeing him he fell at his feet and pleaded earnestly with him saying my daughter is at the point of death please come lay your hands on her that she may get well and live he went off with him and a large crowd followed him and pressed upon him there was a woman afflicted with hemorrhage for 12 years she had greatly she had suffered greatly at the hands of many doctors and had spent all that she had and she was not helped but only grew worse she had heard about Jesus and came up behind him in the crowd and touched his clock she said if I by touch his claws I shall be cured immediately her flow of blood dried up she felt in her body that she was healed of her affliction Jesus aware at once that power had gone out of him turned around in the crowd and asked who has touched my clothes but his disciples said to Jesus you see how the crowd is pressing upon you and yet you ask who touched me and he looked around to see who had done it the woman realizing what had happened to her approached in fear and trembling she fell down before Jesus and told him the whole truth he said to her daughter your faith has saved you go in peace and be cured of your affliction while he was still speaking people from the synagogue officials house arrived and said your daughter has died why trouble the teacher any longer this regarding the message that was reported Jesus said to the synagogue official do not be afraid just have faith he did not allow anyone to accompany him inside except Peter James and John the brother of James when they arrived at the house of the synagogue official he caught sight of a commotion people weeping and wailing loudly so he went in and said to them why this commotion and weeping the child is not dead but asleep and they already called him then he put them all out he took along the child's father and mother and those who were with him and entered the room where the child was he took the child by the hand and said to her Talitha kum which means little girl I say to you arise the girl a child of 12 arose immediately and walked around at that they were utterly astounded he gave strict orders that no one should know this and said that she should be given something to eat The Gospel of the Lord. Amen. 
Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. It's always to see. Of course, as the weeks go by, we hope that every few will be taken. It's a while. You know, we were wearing the mask and uh, going through a challenging time. And today's liturgy gives us the same theme. When we place our trust and confidence in the Lord, great things can happen. Because the intention of our Creator is that everything and everyone remains at peace. We'll listen to the first reading of today, taken from the Book of Wisdom. The author says, God did not bring in death. You know, St. Paul would say, death is the penalty that we pray pay for our sins. So Book of Wisdom says, God created human beings as imperishable. In His image, a likeness. That's one of the most beautiful understanding that we have about human beings. So we receive our dignity from the Creator. And God in His goodness outpours or lavishly gives out his blessings. Even when the humanity went away from God, God seeks after. The beautiful second reading. Paul says, Jesus became poor in order to make us rich. You know, just like St. Francis says, it is in giving that we receive. You know, last, last weekend, we had the Priest Unity Days. We had a couple of speakers, but I I was impressed by one of the speakers. He said, speaking about priesthood, every man is called to be a father. Every woman is called to be a mother. No, he went on to explain what he meant by that. He said when he was a young man, he never knew what is to be a father. But now he has six children. He says after his work is done, he spends a lot of time for them. Just look at in your own life. How much time 
that you spend for your family and for your children. Suppose if we hold back and say, it is my time, then he says, that doesn't make are you a good father. So that's what our God is. He just gives. Goes in abundance. And when we read John, John would say, God was so loving, so compassionate, so kind, giving up his very son. And what does he do? Giving up his life so that we make our life in abundance. The gospel passage of today, we have two stories. What Jesus continues with the act of recreation. The book of wisdom says, before the fall, there was a harmony in the universe. We could say everything was perfect. But with sin, chaos enters the world. Now the creator itself has to come. You know, just like you purchase a car and they give you, the manufacturers give you warranty. So when something goes wrong, you take it to the manufacturer. Because they are the best people to get it repaid. So that's why God itself has to come to renew, recreate the creation once again. Healing the woman. Again, bringing back the young girl to life. Renewal and recreation. And if you read the Gospel of Mark, Mark presents Jesus as a man of action. He was always out there for others. Just like I said, being a father, being a mother. And it's not only we do, that's what we find in the nature. You know, for example, an apple tree produces apples. Who enjoys the fruit? Someone else. Suppose the apple tree say, it's my fruit, it's just for me. Oh, look at the lake, beautiful lakes, brimming with water. Someone else uses it. Suppose the lake say, it is, it's mine. But only human beings, we are the only one who enjoys the fruit of our labor. You know, sometimes we think that we are the crown of creation. In a sense, yes. But if you look at the, look at the creation, no. No, our guru says, can we imagine a world without animals? Without the beautiful animals? You know, how boring the world would be. Just think about 
there are no birds this world would be much poor or just think about there are no trees no grass you know how pitiful you know how pity it would be look at the creation but just imagine there are no human beings in this world you know what he says the creation will just flourish because we are the only one who enjoys the food of our labor the liturgy of today invites us to place our trust and confidence in the creator who is generous and gives in abundance and when we take after our creator when we give we receive in abundance please rise I believe in one God the Father Almighty maker of heaven and earth of all that is visible and invisible I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ the only begotten Son of God born of the Father before all ages God from God light from light true God from true God begotten not made consubstantial with the father through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven by the power of the holy spirit was incarnate of the virgin mary and became man for our sake he was crucified under pontius Pilate. he suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the father he will come again glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end i believe in the holy spirit the lord the giver of life who proceed from the father and the son who was spoken to the prophets I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come amen we come to God with our praise and concerns confidence that we will be answered For our Holy Father, that his prayers for Christian unity and renewal be quickly fulfilled, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who serve in public office, may they uphold the law faithfully and govern wisely, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase of vocations to lay pastoral ministry, holy and loving marriages, religious life, and priestly life we pray to the Lord Lord hear our prayer for a better world as we emerge from pandemic restrictions and for those anxious about the future we pray to the Lord Lord hear our prayer for abundance of rain and a bountiful harvest we pray to the Lord Lord hear our prayer for the summer travelers May they travel safely, strengthen their relationships as family, friends, or couples, and find the Creator in the beauty of creation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the engaged and married couples, especially for Dan and Kelly Backman, 
Dwayne and Marge Poppy, who celebrate their wedding anniversaries. We pray to the Lord. Lado, hear our prayer. For all the faithfully departed, especially for Angeline Kamarowski, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. God of life and the living, you make all that is breath. We offer our praise to you. Make this prayer through Christ uh, our Lord. Our offertory hymn is Christ Be Our Light in the Word and Song Book, number 792, number 792. Sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise of the Lord because of it, for our good and good of all His holy church. Oh God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant we pray that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts through Christ uh, our Lord. Amen.
glória meu Deus lift up your hearts let's give thanks to the Lord our God it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord Holy Father Almighty and eternal God for when your children were scattered afar by sin through the blood of your son and power of the spirit you gathered them again to yourself that a people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit might to the praise of your manifold wisdom as manifest as the church and so in company with the choirs of angels we praise you and with joy we proclaim You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fond of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. And we eat this bread and drink this cup. We proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, William our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters 
who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who are pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Of the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thou will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Our leaders in our temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant God peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and uh, ever. The peace and joy of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God, beholding Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter on tomorrow, but only see the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, 
I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart, and I unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen. For anyone listening to 90.1 on their car radio and wishing to receive communion, please come into the church. Her communion hymn is number 567, At the Table of the World, number 567.
Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord. We pray so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear food that lasts forever through Christ our Lord. We shall pray together. Pray to Saint Michael the Archangel. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell, Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Please be seated. Just a couple of information before the final blessings. So this weekend, so our bishop has revoked the dispensation, the obligation to attend mass in person. So everyone is welcome to come and uh, attend the masses in person. And then we have all, also started the holy water fund. So please make use of the sanitizers and you are welcome to use it if only you feel comfortable and then this Tuesday June 29th is the solemnity of Saints Peter and Paul our heavenly patrons so as usual we will have a mass at 8 30 a.m. everyone is welcome to join so last weekend of the month we celebrate anniversaries so we have uh, one couple here, the Backmans. Anybody else? Any other couple celebrating their anniversary? Okay. Kelly and Dan. So please stand. Celebrating their 41st wedding anniversary. They just look 41. You know, when I saw it, I was, I was really, I was really surprised. I, I didn't ask Kelly, you were married for 41 years? Yeah, that's, that's incredible. Incredible blessing being together for 41 years. Okay, we have a blessing for you. God, a loving father, creator of the universe, you brought together Dan and Kelly in the bond of marriage and kept them together till this day 41 years blessed them with good family ask your blessings upon them bless Dan and Kelly their family their children and friends let's also seek the powerful intercession of our blessed mother she was the protector of the family of Nazareth. Through her powerful intercession, blessings may come upon you and your family. Blessings of the Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Now you may kiss the bride. Please stand for the final blessings. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. So thank you everyone for being part of this Eucharistic celebration. We will continue to live stream now only one Mass, that will be the 1015. AMS. Last weekend we had 23 people participating, but love to have you in the church participating in person. So we thank them and those who listen us through the radio and those who later participate through YouTube.
Thank you, everyone, and have a wonderful weekend. Our closing hymn is number 592, There's a Wideness in God's Mercy, number 592.